All right, now that we've made a button, let's uh, take a look at how we can make a slider. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a regular old slider here, and I want to modify a couple things about this. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about this slider is it's going to fall off the ends of this container that it lives inside of, right? And if we look at the slider, we can see, oh, lo and behold, it's got some panel values. It's got a, a slider panel. It's got some color. It's got all sorts of really useful stuff for us here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take advantage of a couple things with this slider. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split my view so we can see two places at once, uh, because that's going to be important this time around. The first thing that I want to do is I want to add a background to this. So I'm going to take a cue from what we did before. I'm going to grab a text. I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a nice name, maybe like slider1. I'm going to take this thing right here. I'm going to take my slider and I'm going to go ahead in the panel section. I'm going to tell it to look for BG, right? That's the operator I want to look for. Look inside of me for the thing called BG. Make sure this is named BG. BG, not BH. Great. And, well, that's a bit trash, right? Like, that's all squashed. I don't like that. We can fix that very quickly here with our text uh, top by asking for the parameters that are associated with the slider, right? We know how to do that. We can say me parent par width. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change it for height. Great. So now this text at matches exactly the dimensions of this particular slider. Okay, something is still not quite right. So let's go back to the font. Oh, I can see right here the font size is too big. Let's turn that one down. And I mean, maybe you want it to be closer to like there. Now this still looks a little pixely pixely. And part of what's going on here is that we're zoomed into this much closer than we're ever going to see it in our control panel. If we view this, we can see that it's only 100 pixels wide and 20 pixels tall. If we were to change that 200 wide and 40 tall, we can see that lo and behold, this is going to scale right along with us. Okay. We'll go back to our original dimensions here. Okay, now I want to fix this slider, uh, the position business, right? I want that to be just, uh, I want it to be a little bit better. I'm not quite happy with the way it looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is here with this knob, I'm going to change the dimensions. I'm going to, uh, right now what it's doing is it's looking at its parent uh, height, right? So it's pulling 20 as the value for the height. I'm going to keep that, uh, but I want to subtract 2 from it. And then here, right here out at my parent, Right. if we take a closer look here, this is the outside of the slider. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the vertical alignment to center. And we can see that, what's that what that's done for me is it's put my slider, my little uh, knob bits right here smack in the middle. So now I've got this nice kind of border that exists around it. And I want the same thing here at the top and the bottom. Okay, so how can I make that happen, right? I want it to stop there. And I want it to stop there. Oof. Yeah. But I don't want that to affect the values that come out of it. I still want this to be 0 and this to be 1. OK. What is a person to do? Well, first, let's take a look at the expression that is driving the position of this knob. OK. We can see it's me parent, pa parent panel. So it's looking at the, pa the panel's u value. And it's multiplying that by the width of the panel less, uh, right, the panel width, uh, less this thing's width divided by 2. Okay, that, I'm, you know, I'm feeling that. That makes sense. Uh, but I want to change that, because when am I ever happy with anything? Okay, so to do that, let's come over here. We're going to middle mouse click on panel 1 and add a math. By middle mouse clicking, what we're doing is we're creating a fork. We're branching this thing right here, right? Okay, now for the math, what I want to do is I'm going to use this math to specify the location of this slider. Okay, so let's start with uh, a quick little reference here. So here I'm going to say I want you to look for the operator and I want you to find the one called math1 and I want you to find the thing in there called v1. Oops, we have to make sure that we format that correctly. Excellent. Okay. Close. Whew. 
And so far no dice. And part of what's going on there, right, is that this is only values of 0 to 1. And this thing is actually 100 long. So we need to do a little bit of scaling, uh, which should be, feel pretty familiar. So I want the from range, right, what's coming out of this guy, that's 0 to 1. I want to turn that into a number that's 1, because I want to have 1 pixel worth of width here. And then in the 2 range, what I'm going to do is I want to look at the uh, me parent par I want my uh, width right so this thing is a hundred wide okay that's still not quite right because now I go all the way past the width of this thing so then I need to subtract from that the operator called knob and from knob, I need the parameter called width, right? So I know that this guy is five wide. Okay, good. Now I'm still going all the way up to the top here. So how am I going to fix that? Well, let's go ahead and subtract one more from this. So we're going to go ahead and encapsulate this inside of parentheses and just subtract one. Okay, so now we should have something... Ooh, almost, good. Oh, I want to add one, excuse me, plus one. There we go. Yes, perfect, all right. So now we can see that we've got these nice little boundaries on this thing. Ooh, I like that, I like that a lot. Excellent. Okay, so now I've got a horizontal slider. What? Well, let's stop right there for a second. So I've got a horizontal slider that I can move up and down. That's great. I might even, right, like let's let's make this a little bit fancier. Let's add a table. And let's in the table, um, let's call this slider one. And we're going to go ahead in our background, in the text, let's go ahead and, and grab this guy. We're going to use our text at to define what the text is here. That'll just make it a little bit easier. Label. When we come back to this, to figure out what on earth is actually going on. I want to change this thing that I know right away what it is that I'm going to be changing. Great. All right. 